Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Uh, well, the Democratic proposal for the payroll tax cut plan was blocked by Republicans. Uh, it's estimated that it would have cost, uh, that it, it would have created 400,000 jobs. Now the Republicans have their own plan, but their plan is smaller so it would create fewer jobs and it, in order to implement their plan you would have to lay off 200,000 workers. So in the end instead of gaining 400,000 jobs you might gain 100,000. They followed the same strategy with the stimulus program. Every economist on all sides of the aisle said that we needed a big stimulus to get the economy going. But the Republicans kept on whittling it down. And they had the power to block it in the Senate so they had to be dealt with, they had to be negotiated with, they had to be accommodated. And they succeeded it succeeded in making it too small to really make the economy bounce back. It was big enough that it prevented the economy from going off the edge and we've even gotten some growth and, and, and some job creation, but nowhere near what's needed. You know, we need to get with it. We need to start spending some money and building bridges and roads and things like that. And of course the way to do that is by taxing the rich, not by making more deficit. But this is another example of the Republicans' true colors. They're perfectly willing to sabotage the economy because they think that will get them back in power. And the pawn in their game is the American middle class. Now I know the Occupy movement has gone out of its way to avoid taking sides in politics. But let's not pretend they don't know what's going on. These are very aware of individuals. They are very aware of what's going on and who's doing what. So they know that the Republicans are their enemy. They're just not convinced the Democrats are their friends. And not all of them are. But make no mistake, if you're a worker, if you're a regular worker, if you're a member of the middle class or the working poor, the Republicans are your enemy. If you're not part of the 1%, you have no friends in the Republican Party. Now, it was Republican policies that created the financial crisis we're in. Let's not pretend that it wasn't. Now there are Democrats that share some blame. But the policies that created the financial crisis were Republican policies. And it's from Republicans who have stood in the way of every attempt to fix it. Thanks for listening.